The cost to fill your motorhome's propane tank is determined by the function C of G equals 3.11 G or 3 and 11 hundredths G, where C of G, the function value, is the output, which is the cost in dollars, and G is the input, which is the number of gallons of propane. The propane tank can hold a maximum of 12 gallons. For part A, number 1, calculate C of 4. When we are given C of 4, we need to recognize that 4 is the input, or the value of G in this case, and our goal is to find the corresponding output. To determine C of 4, we substitute 4 for G, and therefore C of 4 equals 3.11 times 4. 3.11 times 4 is equal to 12.44, and therefore C of 4 equals 12.44. For number two, write the answer as an ordered pair. Each ordered pair is always in the form of the input comma the output, or in our case, g comma c of g. And therefore the ordered pair is four comma 12.44. Part three, complete the following sentence to explain the meaning of number one and number two. Remember the input of four represents the gallons of propane, and the output 12.44 represents the total cost in dollars. And therefore the meaning is, the cost to purchase 4 gallons of propane is $12.44, or $12.44. For part B, we're asked to find G, which remember is the input, given C of G equals 24.88, which is the output. In order to find G, this time we substitute 24.88 for the function value c of g. So going back to our function rule, we would have the equation 24.88 equals 3.11g. To solve for g, we divide both sides by 3.11. Starting on the right side, 3.11 divided by itself is equal to one. One times g is g. We have g equals this quotient, 24.88 divided by 3.11 is equal to eight. So now we know if the output is 24.88, then the input G equals eight. As an ordered pair, we still have G comma C of G, which in this case is eight comma 24.88. And now to explain the meaning, the output that was given of 24.88 represents the total cost in dollars, and the input that we found of eight represents the gallons of propane. And therefore, we now know if the cost to purchase the propane was $24.88, or $24.88, then the number of gallons purchased was eight. For the last part of this question, we are asked to determine the practical domain and practical range. Before we do this, let's graph the part of the function C of G on the coordinate plane that makes sense for the situation. Because the propane tank can hold a maximum of 12 gallons, the value of G can only be from zero to 12, where zero represents zero gallons of propane purchased, and 12 represents the maximum gallons of propane that can be purchased. When we graph a function, we always put the inputs along the horizontal axis. So when G equals zero, the cost is zero dollars, and when G is 12, the total cost would be 3.11 times 12, which is equal to 37.32, represented by this point here. So this is the graph of the function c of g that makes sense for this situation. And remember the domain is a set of all possible inputs, which in this case would be g greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 12 as a compound inequality, or using interval notation, we would have zero comma 12 with square brackets. And the range is a set of all possible outputs, which in this case would be from zero dollars up to the maximum cost of purchasing 12 gallons of propane. And therefore the practical range is C of G greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 3.11 times 12, where this product is equal to 37.32. So here we have the practical domain and practical range given the conditions of this problem. So going back to part C, the practical domain is when G is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 12 gallons of propane. Again, this is because we can purchase zero gallons of propane 
all the way up to a total of 12 gallons of propane because that's the maximum the tank will hold. And then based upon the practical domain, we can determine the practical range, which would be the cost of purchasing zero gallons of propane all the way up to the total cost of purchasing 12 gallons of propane. And therefore the practical range is C of G greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 3.11 times 12, which is 37.32. And of course the units are dollars. I hope you found this helpful.